Oh yes, thank God for God. It's another beautiful day. Thank God it preserves us up to this moment. So many people desired to see today, but they were not given the opportunity. But for you and I, we are alive standing perpendicularly. And I do tell people that despite all the crash and clash that have crushed so many lives, yet we are alive without this crash. And despite all the atrocities and calamities that have befallen many in different cities, yet none came to our vicinity. Instead, we granted serenity without austerity, the mother of liability. Thank God for God, the merciful Father that never let go of us, even when we let go of Him, that great God that sits on the throne and there is none beside Him, the merciful Father that doesn't change, but every situation can change by Him. Peter denied him, Judas betrayed him, soldiers crucified him, but yet grave could not keep him. No wonder angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. Even the 24 elders in heaven obey his sons, they make unto him because all honor, glory, and adoration belong to him. I'm talking about Jehovah God of 247 that can turn situation around before the count of seven and still forgive your iniquities even after 70 and seven. The master of creation that reigns from generation to generation. He died in crucifixion, battered, shattered for your emancipation. Through his condemnation, we obtain divine justification. And before his ascension to his mansion, he made provision for your vision. It's your portion and possession in all ramification. The God of your commission that foreknew you even before the creation. Nothing like omission in his mission. Your present help in every situation that lifted you from a place of opposition and set your feet on a higher position, the center of your attraction, the end of every discussion, beautiful beyond description and not limited by your own imagination. Let me pause there. And not limited by your imagination. What are those imaginations you have? God is not limited by them. Just put your trust in God, believe in God as you go about your daily activities today. Believe in God, it will meet you at the point of your need. Don't forget, part of my line say is the over God of 247 that can turn situation around before the count of seven. He that created the whole world in just his days and carried it on his shoulder. What is your life that I cannot turn around today? I'm glad to announce to you today that as you go about your daily activities, as you go about pursuing your businesses today, the Lord will give you an outstanding testimony. It will meet you at the point of your need. It will turn your situation around. Just believe in God and go out with positive attitude. And I see you testify and the end of today. One more time, I greet you, congratulations for seeing another day. Don't give up on God. Believe in God. Embrace an attitude, a positive attitude, and surely your life will turn around. Don't forget, this is still Hey Why the Rhymer, Professor Rhymes. And I hope to be with you tomorrow on this same channel because I release video every day. And please, don't forget to like this video, follow me, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Hey TV so that you can enjoy more of my content, the one I posted in the past and the ones I'm going to be posting afterwards so that you can be one of the first set of people to enjoy it. Surely, I know your later end will be far better than your beginning. I see God turning your situation around today and not tomorrow. God bless you. As you wait on God, don't be lazy. In your passion and vision, don't get dizzy. Shine your face, run your race, set a pace, seek for grace, stay in your place, occupy the space, and surely you've moved to a better face. And please, to enjoy more of my content and relationship, please like this video, follow me, and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Hey TV. Thank you so much. Bye for now. See you tomorrow. Thank you.